So, as I told you, uh, we put together a plan, and this plan that we put together is not the final one that we're going to do. We're going to continue to do more of these. This really was sort of a plan that gave us the kind of the uh, knowledge to believe that we have something that is really buildable. And uh, when you look at it, uh, some of the particulars about it, and then ones that, uh, you know, obviously uh, affect you folks, is that we were able to put together a plan for 14 years, 4 million tons per year, which is pretty well the same size as Coal Valley. Uh, we had uh, almost 400 people in that plan that uh, would have to live somewhere in the local area. Uh, the capital, and these are U.S. dollars, the reason is that we travel internationally, so we always talk U.S. dollars, add about 10% to it. Uh, the total project capital uh, in U.S. dollars is about $420 million, which is a fair chunk of change, and a lot of that would be spent local. Uh, the other thing is that if you take a look at the pre-tax cash flows, about $150 million a year. That's a lot of money to be spending in the local community. Some of the things, again, you know, uh, I took some of these slides because uh, I talked to coal people and they're very interested. But really, I think the thing that, from your perspective, what you'd be interested in, in this plan, we put together, uh, we had a, a construction period of about 18 months, if everything went well, and uh, we had about 400 man years of construction. So, uh, well, from our perspective, the way we looked at it, uh, we thought about putting a camp out there, and really, the area that we're talking about centralizing, uh, or where our process facility would be, and where the mine buildings would be, are not far from town. Uh, very accessible, so our thinking right now is that we wouldn't bother building a large construction camp out there because uh, the time, it would, wouldn't take almost anything to get out there. So those people that we're talking about would be based out of hotels in the local area, which uh, would obviously, over that time frame, we're probably talking about 230 people working on the project for about 18 months plus. Just to give you a little lay of the land, uh, Hinton is located a few kilometers this way. Uh, this is sort of a little schematic about, uh, you know, of what uh, we were talking about in the, in the mine plan that we put together. Our mine location would be based down in this area, and what we'd be doing is we'd be shipping coal to a uh, to a crusher arrangement with haul trucks. And then we have about a three kilometer conveyor that would be shipping to a, a process facility. And the clean coal would go on a clean coal conveyor about five kilometers through a culvert under the highway to a brand new loadout that we would build on the railway at Heather. Is this the end all final plan? No, it's not. And the reason I say that is this, this gave us, uh, the penalty location was given us by CN, but uh, what this plan indicated to us is that this would be a feasible four million ton a year plan. Uh, I told you before that really to compete you need to be big. And we will be looking at options on trying to move this size of this project north of 5 million tons, 6 million tons, whatever we can prove up in resources. The other thing, uh, if you go back to the slide that I was showing you before, talked about the plan that we had was a 14-year mine plan. 14 years isn't really long enough. We like to push this thing up 20 years. In fact, if you take a look at, you know, Coal Valley, I mean, they've been mining for 30 years. Once you get out there and you build the mine, Cardinal River is another example. You know, those mines have been there forever. Once you, you build the mine, and once you pay off your capital, you can mine a lot 
a lot deeper coal, a lot costlier coal. And so we believe that this project will be around for a lot longer than that. Just a question. That 14 years, is that plus the 18 months building construction? Uh, no, that's actual operation. So the way we're looking at this project, that's a good point. Yeah, good point. The way we're looking at this project is that first coal out of here would be about four years. We would be on the ground uh, six months before that doing some work, uh, building roads, uh, moving a little waste, but first coal realistically is about four years away if everything goes according to our schedule. The uh, construction would be starting in 2012. So what are the opportunities? Uh, I'm trying to look at things a little simplistically. Uh, what we're trying to do now is we're actually looking to increase the size of our project by adding more property. So we're looking around the area to see if we can increase our property and thus doing some more drilling work on it and increasing the amount of coal reserves we have. The other thing, as I mentioned, this one is a big point for us is we want to get bigger. To compete, to lower your cost, you need to get through it. So we need to look to try and get bigger. We'd like to push this thing north of 5 million tons. We believe, if you look around the area, we've been looking what is potentially available for resources in the area. There are quite a lot of unmined resources, thermal coal resources, and we're trying to increase the size of our uh, property position. Uh, we have other things we're looking at. There are coal seams that aren't fit uh, because their quality is inferior for export, so you can <coughs> export them into the market. Uh, we are going to be looking at trying to sell those coal seams locally, uh, potentially cement manufacturers, potentially uh, there are power plants in the area that burn thermal coal as well, so there's other ways that we can enhance our position. Uh, right now, the project that we're looking at, this may not make sense to some of you, but right now we're, the mine that we have designed is a shovel truck mine. It's a basic mine that you would see anywhere around the world. One of the things that we are fortunate with is our geology is very gentle geology, very gently dipping. And if you go outside of Edmonton around Wabaman Lake, you'll see that all the mines there that have the same geology as we do use drag mines. I think you see down by Whitewood, when you pass by on the highway, you can see the big drag line moving, mining there. That's the kind of equipment that we'd like to go to eventually, because it's very cost effective, but it's very expensive. The other thing is we're doing is, I told you before, the last thermal coal mine that was built for export in Canada was 1982, and with that, we've kind of lost a skill set there for building thermal coal wash mines. So what I've done is I've hired a fellow out of Brisbane, Australia. Brisbane uh, is sort of the center of coal production in Australia. All the big companies are based there, and they build a lot of wash plants. Uh, this gentleman that I hired does a lot of work for Extrata, which is one of the major thermal coal producers in the world, and he's helping us to try and design the wash plant. <coughs> We just finished a 10-hole drilling program where we took the core, the coal you drill, and you recover a, a coal core from your drill hole. And we shipped it off to the lab, and we're running tests on it to try and give us some background information on wash plant, for wash plant design. So we're going to be working on that as well. 